this episode, we're going to go toy hunting on eBay for the toys I wish I had as a kid. So, stick around. Round one. Fight! Hello everybody and welcome to Rob vs. the Internet. This is the show where I consult the all-powerful Internet for all the answers to life. Now, the only answers I want to know this time is how much are the toys that I wish I had as a kid worth today? The easiest place to look is on eBay. I have to say, in the past, I have not been that lucky when it comes to finding affordable toys that I wanted. So, let's dive in without further ado. And as usual, we just go with the top search results. We don't get too deep into it. We just see what the top 5 or 10 listings are for each toy, and we go from there. If it's something I think is a realistic price... I add it to a watch list. I mean, if it's good enough, I'm going to purchase it right now. But, like I said, I haven't been that lucky. Our first search is for the Get Along Gang posable toys, or action figures as I called them, or as what they're on the package, dress-up kids. So, we have a couple different options to how to search, but let's get started with Get Along Gang dress-up kids, I guess. So, get a long gang. Dress up kids. Let's see what that gets us. Okay, we're going with all listings here. Yeah, yeah, get out of here, pop up. Go away. Excuse me, technical difficulties. Thank goodness it's gone. Okay, first up, we have Get Along Gang Lot. 1984, Dress Up Kids, Montgomery, Good News Moose, and Dottie Dog. I don't know if I would call two items a lot, but okay. But we have Buy It Now for $28.79. An odd number. Um, free shipping. That's always good. Let's get a close-up look at them here. Look at that. The original KB uh, price tag on them. Ten bucks to two ninety-nine. Look at that. Hey, it comes with three puffy stickers. Awesome. And here's Dottie Dog. Very cool. Uh, they have some close-up pictures of each. The gang is dressed up for fun. Sit, stand, pose them. Comes with collectible puffy stickers too. Awesome. Box has some wear, but... And there's the ice cream shop. In the previous episode, I may have said it came with, or they had multiple play sets. I don't know. The ice cream shop is the only one I've ever really have seen. That might be all that they ever made. But they're advertising it on the side of the box there. Or is it the back of the box? It's the back of the box. Sorry, the back of the box. But 30 bucks for two of them? When they're originally 10, I mean, that breaks down to 15 apiece. That's not really that bad when you consider what they originally were. So, add to watch list. What the hey? Why didn't it take? Okay. 
It's a conspiracy. Anyway, let's move on. Don't want to dwell too long here. Here we have just a Montgomery Moose. Looks like his shirt's on backwards. This is a sponsored post. 973 with 550 shipping and handling. So, about the same price. Here we have Bingo Beaver. And I'm sorry, let's go back here and I want to check this out to why his shirt is on backwards. I mean, they have to realize that it's backwards, right? Look. Right there. The M is right there. Come on, people. Hmm. Anyway. Whoa, here we go. A bingo beaver for 50 bucks. Let's take a look at it up close. Looks like his dress-up feature is his red sweater, sweatshirt. Looks like his pants are molded. Uh, box has a little wear. Yeah, it has some wear on it. Has a listing of the other figures. And on the got a listing of the figures there. And the back has the ice cream shop again. But 50 bucks, that's very steep considering the first listing that we saw. Ah, Zipper Cat. The one I always liked. I was lucky enough to have him as a stuffed animal. Got his track suit on. Again, it's just his shirt. The pants look molded. Which is cool. Box has some wear, but look how much they want for him. $74.99. Free shipping, but shoo wee. Yeah, it's from the 80s and in a box, but is it really worth that much? And then you get down here. Dotty Dog in box. $21.75. I mean, that's not bad considering what Zipper and Bingo are going for here, but when you look at that first listing, that's a tad bit expensive. Same here with Montgomery Moose. You could get the two for just a couple dollars more. 50 bucks for them here. And look, here's a nude one. So this is what they looked like underneath. What I was telling you with their undergarments molded on. 10 bucks. And how much, or how tall were they? 6 inches with his antlers. That's a pretty good size. He can go toe to toe with He Man. 50 Dotty Dog. And these are Buy It Nows with free shipping. Oh, here's the stuffed animal. Here's Portia Porcupine for 15. Missing her top. Here is Wilma Lamb. I don't ever recall that being her name. I just didn't remember. Fifteen, twenty, nine dollars. That seems to be the best, but four seventy-five shipping. So you're back to square one with this first listing is definitely the best. So let's hit watch there. I, I think that's watching. It didn't. Heart didn't fill in or anything. Anyway, let's go to the next thing on the list, and that was the Chubbles. These I expect to probably not be in the best of shape because they're a stuffed animal and they're light colored, so I just expect them to be stained up and gnarly. But let's see. Apparently, Chubbles are type of shorts, so uh, Chubbles toy. Oh, that says Chubbies. Did I do that or did it autocorrect? Okay, here we go. 20 bucks. Not bad. Chubbles in a blue cloak. Ewok? What's that got to do with Star Wars or Ewoks? I gotta read this. 
So it's 1999 with 778 shipping. Let's take a look at this up close, shall we? Oh, I didn't mean for that. I just like hovering over here. There we got, you see the light bulb eyes. One of them looks like it's missing. Oh, that's gross. So eyes and nose. Let's see if the... Looks much more dingy on the back there. So let's read... Oh, there's some more up there. Let's read the uh, description to see if it talks about that. Used. Show signs aware. Battery attachment missing, so lights and sound do not work. Oh, that's right. I forgot to mention, they also make like a giggling noise or something. Kind of creepy when you think about the phantasm connection. So we have one free shipping, 25 bucks, and a red cloak. And this dude looks like it still has his tags. I'm going to hit that. Why isn't my watch list things working? There, add that to watch list. Look, he's got his tag. Oh, look how cute he is in the picture. Responds to you. Uh-oh. Oh, it takes a 9 volt. There it is, Animal Fair. That looks like it's in great condition for $30. Um, makes noise when you first collect the battery, but I can't get it to do any after the wires. Have issues. Look at pictures carefully. Smoke-free home. Mm, maybe not worth the $30 if it has electrical issues. Man, that would really stink if your chubbles burst into flames. Here we go for 25 but what is this? This looks different than other Chubbles. He has a Chubbles embroidery thing here. It has nose lighting up. That's neat. But the other two we saw don't have this patch. And to be honest, none of the pictures I've seen online have this patch. Oh look, there's another one with a patch. Hmm. Vintage Chubbles. Plush stuffed toy. All plush. Plastic eyes and light up nose. Purple cloak is not removable. It's supposed to light up and make giggling sound. A chiggle. Tested. Left battery in a few days and only the nose lit up. Random light activation, but never made a chiggle sound. Hmm. Interesting. I mean, with the age, I mean, I would expect the electrical issues. But here we go. We have, here's one in working condition for 2084 with 885 shipping in blue. That looks pretty cool. And see, look, these don't have the embroidered thing on the uh, chest. So we're looking from anywhere from 25 to 40 bucks. Whoa, 31. Still in the package. With a maroon hood. I wouldn't say that's maroon. That's more of a purple or a lavender. But 31 for that, that seems pretty good. $5 expedited shipping. Whoa. I ain't messing around here. Please, <clears throat> please look at pictures carefully as they are of the actual item being sold. Chubbles plush toy with marine, maroon hood with box and tags. Animal Fair, 1985. Condition is used. Shipped. Priority mail. Nice. Oh, here's one of the little uh, little figures I was telling you about. Twelve fifty. Gee, Louise. That's pretty good. 31 bucks, still in the package. They live on love. Don't we all, really, at the end of the day? But that's pretty cool. So, got a good uh, look at pretty much all around the same ballpark of the price. 
I might have been wrong about the eyes lighting up. It seems like only the nose, maybe? Hmm. What is this thing? Blue Chiggle Chuppel's friend. Whoa! Look at that dude. His eyes light up. He looks kind of sad there. That's cool. I didn't realize they had friends. He looks like a cool little monster dude. This is from my mother's estate. The eyes light up and it talks when you clap your hands or make loud noises. His dark blue eyebrows has dark blue eyebrows and mouth. No tears or stains. Good to know. That's pretty neat. I'm going to put that on my watch list just because I've never seen that before. I don't think I'll pay $60 for that. But it has free shipping, so you got that going for it. Oh, here's one for $17.99 with $10.90 shipping. So, $29 in the ballpark. Look at this thing. Lug a hug Chub Chubbles Firefly Friend. Hmm. Very neat. Anyway, on to the next one on the list, and that's Lego Fabu Land. Now, I anticipate this being very expensive, so let's see. Lego Fabu Land. Just wanted to double check, make sure I was spelling it right. Excuse me while I get a drink. Hey, here's Patrick Parrott, new in box, 1750, 418 shipping. Let's take a look at old Patrick here. Now, this, I mean, doesn't look like it's that buildable at all. Oh, there he is. He almost looks like a Kappa or something. That's cool. That's what I would say he was if I ever got him. Seventeen fifty still in the package. Not too shabby. Lego Fabu Land Peter Pig knockoff set. New old stock rare. A lot to take in with that description. Fifty bucks. And it's a knockoff? Let's take a look at this. Looks like it comes with a seesaw. Hello? Can I get a closer look here? Okay. So I guess that's the pig and a lion, dude. Made in China. Well, I guess they are knockoffs. They don't look as uh, colorful as uh, the parrot that we saw. 50 bucks. Crazy. Whoa, look at this. Rare Vintage Lego Fabu Land Large Mix Set. $150 to bid or $250, buy it now. Hmm. Let's see what all we get here. Give me a close-up picture, please. Look at this. We got a little hippo, a raccoon, dog. Is that a policeman? Is that a mailman or another policeman? I don't know. We have a mouse and a, two mice here at the park with a tuba. We have firemen. Some type of critter in a boat. I'm going to assume that's another dog. Postal worker. Well, look at this. A bird in an airplane. Ooh, and a school with an alligator. There's another mouse, a rabbit. A lion? Something inside there. Let's see. Oh, it's just the same pictures for the most part. But very cool. Let's see what the description says. Well, look at this. One pound of random Lego. 1750. One pound doesn't sound a lot. We got the fire police station, 1982. Playground, 1987. Fire Chief and Fire Truck, 87. Buzzy the Bulldog Letter Carrier. Fabu Land Classroom Set. Police Inspector Dog with Motorcycle. Lionel the Lion and Hannah Hippopotamus in their rowboat. That didn't look like them in a rowboat. Uh, airplane and Pilot Set. Double Decker Bus, Bus Driver, Bus Stop, and Passengers. 
Pierre the pig and his tuba, and the bus stop set. So it looks like the earliest is 82, the latest is 87. And here is uh, Missing the Hippopotamus. However, there is another set with a hippo character that can be used instead. Okay, it looks like they're missing a few things, but not a lot. But that is a lot, and that might be a good price, but still too rich for my blood. Oh, look at this. This is what I'm talking about. $24.99, $5.30 shipping. I'm going to put that on my watch list right now. A lot of five animal minifigs. And you got to think, I mean, this would probably sell nowadays if you just put Animal Crossing on it. I mean, these look very similar to the Animal Crossing type of characters. I mean, especially that raccoon looks like that was a Tom Took or whatever his name is. So what do we got here? It looks like we got a monkey, a raccoon, a mouse, an elephant, a prairie dog or something. Let's see if it says what it is down here. And it comes with a bike. They are one and three quarter inch tall. So, I mean, they could hang with G.I. Joe. They'd be shorter, but... And here's one of those knockoffs with a slide, 50 bucks. But that is a great price. 30 bucks-ish. And look at this. Here's one for 19 It would be 25 bucks. Here's one still in the package. What is this? Cornelius Cat. Looks like it comes with a fishing rod. That's cool. Is that a frying pan? $12.99. Bid $24.99. Buy it now. Here's another one. He, they want $34.49. Buy it now. Oh, here's a car. That's the mayor's car. Cool. Comes with a monkey chauffeur and the lion mare. You know, the class system of animals really hasn't changed that much. Here's a pig with a wheelbarrow with some stuff in it. Oh, here's a Buzzy Bulldog the Postman. Paulette Poodle living room set. Oh, here's a hospital from the 1970s. $524.90. Let's take a look at the packaging, though. Let's get a close-up look at it. Give me a close up here. We have, oh, like a little Scotty dog, the poodle, and a cat. Oh, look at the little ambulance. Oh, wow, there it is in the box. Comes with stickers. Now, tell me those look, I mean, those look very 70s. That's awesome. Some more stickers. Here's all the bricks. Hmm, that's cool artwork. Let's see what it says here. It says it's from 1987, though. So why does it say the 70s? Hmm. Here's some various bric-a-brac. Ooh, here's uh, the old instruction manual with the Percy Pig. Oh, look, a steamboat. I'm going to take a look at that. $430. Yikes. And they couldn't, really, they couldn't throw in shipping for free. Look at this walrus. That's awesome. There's some monkeys. Yo, why are you mopping the river? Mm. Very expensive, but neat. Yeah, that, whoa. Forty-one of them, plus two motorcycles for 175 bucks. Now, excuse me a second. I just, like I said in the previous video, I just love the animals. So let me take these all in. Look, there's a horse, a crow, another walrus. There's that bird with the plane. There's another walrus, a hippo, ooh, a cow, a prairie dog or groundhog or whatever he is. Maybe he's a chipmunk or squirrel, I don't know. Look, a duck, like a mallard. Oh, there's that alligator. Wow. 
They are so cool. Anyway, let's jump into the next thing. And let's get back up to the top here to search. And that is the GoBots Zod. I'm thinking this might not be expensive, so hey, cross your fingers. Maybe I'll be buying something tonight. Ten bucks with five dollars shipping. Used to bot working. One bid for ninety-nine cents for eight dollars shipping, so There's that red thing on the belly I was talking about. That's where the batteries go, I guess. Very cool. Doesn't have his, the laser lance, though. Look at this. One in the box and one loose. For 99 cents with one bid. Hmm. Where's it coming from? Oakland, Tennessee. Hmm. I want to place a bid. So, excuse me a minute. I'm just going to try my luck with $2. So then it would only be $10.20 altogether. Ah! Already outbid. Let's bid three and see what happens. Outbid. Bid four. Hey, we got that one. So, fingers crossed. Let's see what happens. But one still in the box and a loose one. Look at that. There's that lance. Dude, that is awesome. And all in all, for, let's see, $4 bid, that's only 12 bucks. So, I'm pretty excited about that. So, fingers crossed, I'll be doing a It Came From and looking at this dude. Whoa, here's one for $53.99. $50. Here's one for $10. Here's one with all the stuff for $25. Ooh, what's this thing? Guardian. Wow, that looks very Japanese. That looks awesome. And if I'm remembering correctly, the GoBots had these power suits that you could put them in. And then they all attach to a larger thing, which I think this might be it, to make a giant robot, like a combiner from GI or, uh, Transformers. So this, yes it is, look. There's the head. And you would put one of the GoBots in their power suit for the arms and then the legs. Very cool. See, that's the thing. People, they're sleeping on GoBots. They had some really cool things. I mean, a lot of people say they were the poor people's transformer. I mean, I was poor and still didn't have that many GoBots. I didn't have that many Transformers either. Hmm. So I think I bid on probably the best thing. Look, someone's just selling the laser lance for 10 bucks with $3 shipping. What the heck, man? Here's one for $3 with $8. Yeah, yeah. Ooh. Like I said, fingers crossed that would be awesome. So I have to keep an eye on that. So we sped through that, but it could be very exciting. So let's go to the last thing on the list that I I envision being very expensive, and that is the Warlock Dragon from Black Star. So let's look up Black Star Warlock. Twenty-six 
$31 in the package, and they're throwing in one of the little goblin things. Let's take a look at this. Now, I can tell you right now, my wife would be peeved for 30 some dollars, not so much over $12. Look at that. The jointed wing there. I love that face. They share a lot of similarities with the horses from Thunder. Oh, it's missing a wing! Lame. Super lame. I only see one wing here, and they want $130 for this. Let's take a look, shall we? Okay, both wings are there. Still, that's pretty hefty price for not being in the package. Here's the Black Star cartoon. And then we kind of just go all over the place. Heavy metal bands, D&D &D books. So, we only have one, two, three true uh, listings for this. Look up Black Star Dragon. What the hey? Got a couple extra seconds to spare. Look at this lot. 20 bucks, $10 shipping. That looks like a whole bunch of awesome. Sorry to jump around here, but let's take a look at what's all in here. We have a lot of broken figures. That's what we got here. Dang. That's a whole lot of sadness right there. Sadness and shame. That honestly hurts my heart to look at it. Let's get out of here. And let's call it a night because I got to edit this one and the previous episode. Spoiler alert, I'm shooting them back to back. And I need to edit both of them and have them ready for this week. And it is already quarter to two, so wish me luck. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed this episode. If you did, please give me a thumbs up. If you got something to say, please leave a comment. I love reading them, and I love getting back to everybody. And if you're new around here and you enjoyed this, or any of the episodes that it's recommending down below, please subscribe. And if you hit that little bell icon, you will be notified whenever there's a new episode. So, until next time, Keep being rad and stay dorky.